Okay, first question. How did Hurricane Sandy form? Well, to answer, let's just take a look into the visual... Wait a second. Hey, what are you doing there? Oh. Huh. I'm here to set the scene for you. Visualize, if you can, floating on the Caribbean Sea, just off the coast of Nicaragua. Where is that, you ask? Here. It's right here. And it was in this very area on October 22nd, 2012, that Hurricane Sandy first began to form. Hurricane Sandy began here because conditions were just right. Storms like these begin in warm water and in areas of low pressure. This causes warm, moist air over the ocean to rise. As the warm, moist air rises, it pulls more air with it, shooting up like a spiraling chimney. Soon, the air begins to cool, condensing moisture into large storm clouds. More and more warm air fuels this storm, generating strong winds and lots of rain. On October 22, 2013, the storm that would become Superstorm Sandy formed off the coast of Nicaragua in the Caribbean Sea. Two days later, the storm grew into a hurricane. It passed through Jamaica, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, Puerto Rico, and Cuba, causing massive rain and mudslides. Hurricanes can also cause a rise in the local sea level, causing water to wash ashore and flood coastal towns. This hazard is called a storm surge. Hurricane Sandy soon combined with two other storms, turning from a hurricane into a superstorm. On October 29th, 2012, Superstorm Sandy hit New York and New Jersey. Parts of Staten Island, Brooklyn, and Lower Manhattan flooded as a result of the storm. The subway system in New York was shut down. Many homes in Staten Island were destroyed. Superstorm Sandy finally stopped on November 2nd, 2012. The storm caused over $70 billion in damages and caused over 8 million people to lose power in their homes. Thousands of people were displaced from their homes. 233 people died as a result of Hurricane Sandy, 44 of those being New York residents. Hurricane Sandy caught many New Yorkers by surprise in 2012, but it was not the first extreme weather event to hit our state, and it certainly won't be the last. Scientists have predicted that extreme weather events such as hurricanes will only increase in frequency in the future. This is due in large part to the impacts of climate change. As extreme weather events increase, their impacts on New York State will likely get worse. That means, young scholars, you must become part of the solution. We need our future scientists, engineers, and lawmakers to work together to help our communities. Not just to help us lessen our impact on climate change, but also to help design solutions to the impacts of extreme weather. This problem is not going away. So, no pressure.